Previously on Big Brother 8. As head of household, Danielle promised Kale that she would be safe. Don't let me go home. You have my word. You are the new head of the household! And she revealed her intentions to backdoor Eric. It's Eric. I know it is. It has to be. But when the late night crew found out, they turned against Dick and Danielle. If you go up, we're staying in this house and it's a downright bloodbath. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dick believed he had a trump card to ensure Eric would be going home. Got something going on that would knock Eric down like a bowling pin. And when the time was right, he let the cat out of the bag to secure Amber's vote. Eric has said to me about some things that, I don't know what it was with your boyfriend, that was so horrible that you, everyone would change their opinion about you forever and would want you out the next day. Shocked that Eric would say such a thing, Amber quickly turned on him. You want to leave him in here so he can pull that out whenever he wants on you? He's a manipulator and he's a liar and he needs to leave this he house. He is leaving, period, end of story. Whether or not it's because of my vote or me and Dustin's vote or Dustin's vote. And with Dick's help, she approached Dustin with a plan. Dick made a deal that if he gets HOH next week, he won't put you or me up. And if you get HOH, you don't put Dick or Danielle up. I'll vote to get rid of Eric. Don't go back on your word. But are you promise? Yes. Unable to keep her emotions in check, Amber lost control. I didn't tell you those for you to go and blab around the house to use against me. You're a devil in disguise is what you are. And you're... Good home. And Dick and Danielle were sure that Eric would be going home. But when the votes were revealed... By a vote of four to three, Eric, you are safe. Kale, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house. The late night crew chose not to evict one of their own, turning Dick and Danielle's world upside down. At the head of household competition, Jessica, congratulations, you're the new head of household. The late night crew took control. Who will Jessica nominate for eviction? And which house guest will Eric, America's player, have to get nominated? Find out tonight on Big Brother 8. By a vote of four to three, Kale, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house. Once the vote went down, that was it. That, that was it. I was lied to. Uh, plain and simple, I was lied to. I thought that we had it nailed, but I got outplayed. I have no problem admitting that. Eric was my target. Unfortunately, it didn't work out how I wanted it to because I put my faith in people whose word is worth nothing. It's worth less than a piece of chewed up gum found on the bottom of your shoe. When the votes came down, it was a great feeling knowing that my friends came through for me. Uh, you know, they really have my back. Bye, Kim. So was it all an act? It was all a big lie? What was the deal? It was what the big lie? The whole thing. No, it wasn't a big Dustin's lie. Dustin's vote? Nope. I vote to evict Kale. It's a good thing you guys gave your word. Right, Eric's here. Exactly the person that needs to be here. Biggest liar of the bunch. Great job. I forgive Eric for what he did, but I don't forget. I have to kind of watch what I say to him and not trust him with everything. Everyone jumping up and down wanting Eric out of here. And that idiot is still here right now. Nice job. 
You don't deserve to be here, Eric. You better have a hell of an HOH competition, Jack. Which evicted house guest said, I gave up way too much. Jessica? Carol. That is correct. Congratulations. You're the new head of household. Not only was I not worried to celebrate, I was happy to throw it in their faces. It doesn't matter if we dance on their graves, you know, throw a freaking parade. There's nothing that they're gonna do to stop it. <laughs> Jamika, Jessica, Eric, Amber, and me, we're going absolutely nuts. And I think that Jessica winning head of household, it could not have been better. I got what I wanted this week, not dick. <laughs> Everyone else's reaction, jumping up and down, screaming. It just shows, you know, they knew what they were doing all along. We got played, we got fooled, we got lied to. Booyah! Money! I know me and Danielle are up on the block. Am I giving up? No. There's a, a little more damage I can do in this place before I leave. <laughs> oh, he does. Oh. What are the fingers? What are the hands? My dad always does that. <laughs> It was a nice job, Jessica. Thank you. And Amber, you did lie, because I asked you about him. And I didn't know. Yes, you did. Don't You're tell me what I knew. Weird. You're going to keep harassing everybody? Gosh, it's brutal. Should be. You lied, and so yeah, did okay. he. Yeah, OK, OK, OK. Think what you want to think. I don't okay. need to prove myself to you. And by the way, just so you know, Dick, I spoke to Jamika and to Amber, and I freed them of any obligation to me. We're over the Eric thing now. Okay, so that does make them liars. What do you mean? First so of all, first of all, let's be, be clear here. My vote was for Eric, and Eric is here. I had nothing to do with anything okay. else. Did I break my word? Did I do anything dishonest? You broke your word a long time ago. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. And so not is America, facts. and I'm sure. ED, okay. It's all good, baby. It is. It's, it's the game. I can't do it five, eight, four more HOHs, so, you know, it's the I game, know. baby. Work it out, girl. Freak them. Hey, no, Freak I mean, it is. Shut it's up. the game. Don't ever you are a tell liar. Me what to do shut up. ever shut again. Up. I'm telling you right now, shut up. No, thank you. Isn't it funny how I can be more honest than the people reading the Bible in the house? That's your salvation, not mine. It has nothing to do with you. And by the way, I say nothing about you. Mean no, 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 because you my got me started now. No, no, no. Because I say nothing about you not my believing in Christ. I say anything. nothing about you not believing in God. So, so don't bring that to me. I can don't bring, bring it to that the one right in the Bible. Don't bring that to me. Saying that's, that's the reason you. the magic that's ping on you. pong ball and so everything else. So what? Out. So what? What does I have to do with you? Nothing. So you keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. And God and everybody else in America seeing that you you're a hypocrite. It. You better believe it. God will redeem you. You're a hypocrite. It. Whether I stay or I go, believe that You'll my be word going. was my word in this house, not before you. And that's Except the for when and your ping pong balls back. picked when you wanted Zach oh, out, and then it changed it's to Nick. Fault. You would have made one that got Nick out of here. When are you going to admit that? No, no, no. You would have made what? He hey. was saying he said. Like I was that. the one that said yes, Nick. I was doing everything I could to make sure that my hands were in front of me and not anywhere on his body is what I was doing. So that should be something that he's grateful for. For real. You wanted Nick out of your team to get close to your daughter exactly. because you're exactly Nick is not going to be in that thing. You wanted Nick out you just said. like everybody you else. You were the one that said that. So I brought it up. So I brought it up. Yes, you yeah. did. You were the one that said yeah, that. Yeah, back off. I'm not going to back up. That's exactly Zach what is no I threat. said. Oh, why do we want Zach out of the game? You he's a nobody. Zach already knows we don't get along. What's your point? Oh, God, I'm point? sure he appreciates that oh, kind well. of language. Oh, well, it's maybe a okay. sin, and you're but doing you know a what? Really good job but you know what? But you know what? Christianity I have eternal out to America salvation. Christians are not perfect, and that's why you're ignorant. Lying. That's why you're ignorant, because you don't no, read you the Bible. You don't know about the Bible. I know more than you do. Yeah. Well, well you, you don't yes, apply I do. it, but you don't apply it. You're yeah. so fully. Yeah, okay. And just like yeah, the right. magical ping yeah. pong ball, That's right? That's right. It's uh -huh. the magical one. That's right. And it won't Hypocrite. be used for you ever. Good. Hypocrite. Your mama. Hypocrite. Yeah, my mama. And you. And me and what? And you. Who were the one that said, ah, oh, Nick, Nick, That's he's got to right. go. Danielle, Danielle. I was the first one that said I made a mistake. 
You're just mad because you don't control anybody's vote in here but your own. Remember that's that. That's right. Neither Remember do you. Remember that. Neither do you. I told you the first time my vote was going to Eric and You do. You try no, to control everybody. No, I do I don't think that's a good decision. I don't think that's a good decision. Uh, when you're going to yeah, pick okay. a liar and a manipulator. Who are you? I don't answer I've lied, to you. I've I don't answer. I gave you the You've facts just like I did it. You gotta be kidding. No. I'm done with you. I'm done. Yeah, I, I heard I'm that ten minutes ago. Dick officially, you know, got duped in the game and, and he's not happy about it. The peasants are revolting and they're not scared of him anymore. Only a matter of time. It's Keep all on good. talking about him. I don't need to. Keep on talking I about him. I said enough. Love you, God. I love you, God. I love you, God. I love you, God. I love you who for who I am, who I'm not. God, you accept me and I love you. I and I love you, God. Right and I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, God. Hey, you're hot. I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. Hey, Jamika. Hi, Jamika. Sorry, Kitty. Hi. Thank you. Jamika, I love you. And we are so, so we're glad that Jess is in charge. We're going to have a great week. We have a safe haven up there. This is fantastic. Thank you for everything. Because I always tell to attack me. I know. I'm you. You're incredible. Oh my God. Thank you for standing up for yourself. I should have been doing it all weekend. And it's a. It's a. Want to talk? No, I don't. You sure? Let a personal attack on my religious belief. And my thing is, come at me with some good stuff. Don't bring that in. And I can name several reasons as to why I don't like you as a person. And none of them have to do with your religious beliefs or lack thereof. The fact that like I can't talk about anything without crying and there's cameras all the time and it's embarrassing. I hate that it's my fault that Kale's gone. I hate that my goodbye message to her was crappy because I was so sure. Yep, because Dustin's a liar. It's okay. No, it's just that things didn't go our way this week. Seriously, you did a great job. No, I didn't. I accomplished nothing, just like everybody else. Except screwed us, that's what I did. It's okay. Okay, you have to take chances in life and you have to take chances in this game, and it's fine. My daughter is an amazing, amazing woman. And no matter how big of an everybody thinks I am, the most important thing for me is my relationship with my daughter. It's gonna be me this week. And then what, I have to stay here with all of them? I don't, I don't like anybody in here. Nobody. And I'll be by myself the whole time. Survive for five weeks for this to change your life. <laughs> like, even though I like have Eric close, like I'm still in this with myself, and I just want mm -hmm. people to know that too. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, no. But it's going to be a good H O H for you, Jess. Yeah. I know what kind of an explosive person that Dick is, but I haven't been a target to Dick this entire game. It doesn't matter because we still, like our group still has the deciding because we have four still. One, two, Dustin and Eric, four. So 
It's really whoever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right now the house is really split. The numbers are five to four. The five that are in our group are Eric, Dustin, Jamika, Jessica, and myself. The other side of the house is Jen, Zach, Dick, and Danielle. One of them needs to go. Want to me first because I think it'll be funny. <laughs> Who wants to see my HOH? Uh -huh. And you better come fast. There's a new ruler in town. <laughs> oh, no. That's really my OH speech is booyah. Booyah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jess! Oh, my brother! Yep, that's my brother. That's us at the Marine Corps Josh, ball. Right? Dean. Dean. Oh. My brother and uh, one of my good friends are both in the Marine Corps and they're in Iraq right now. It's very hard being in the Big Brother house while he's in the war because I have uh, no connection to the outside world. It made me a little teary eyed because I really do miss them so much. That's my goddaughter and that's my brother. We're her godparents, which is all thunder. Oh, wow. uh oh, your brother's cute too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I don't like a lot of these people, but I have nothing against Jessica personally, but you know, I don't like a lot of people in this house. <laughs> no, this is Grandma Joy. Grandma, Grandma Joy! Joy. Hey, Grandma so Joy. So happy. <laughs> it was uh, what I expected. Pictures of her and her family and her girlfriends and she bleaches her hair, and <laughs> she probably has big boobs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to point that out. It's a good feel for the fire. Go, girl. Nice. Thanks. Congrats, Jeff. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, right, girlie. You okay? I will do everything I possibly can to sacrifice myself and get these people to vote me out over Danielle. Ugh. You need to stay. I need to go. They will want me out because they're the good people. For a reason. You love my company. You love the fact I call you a hypocrite. And I think your Christianity is a joke. Funny your daughter is too, and so is your mother. I've been praying for you since I day have one. Too. I've been praying to Good. my dog for you. It does about the same. Good. Tick, you know, it's funny how you go straight to the heart. You, like, you sit there and say I'm a little bitch because I cry because you know that's what gets you to are me. A little bitch. And you talk about God to her because you know that's what gets to her. Oh, what about your God? Did you find him when your drug recovery? Okay, okay. Is that when you found God? <laughs> During your drug recovery? You're such a mental case. You must be wow. a nightmare. And your little girl? Oh my God. She's got to be a mess. At least she talks to her daughter for eight years. Uh -huh. She doesn't have to have other people raise her daughter. Yeah, I pawned her off my mother. She wasn't, she wasn't I'm drunk. I'm going to pawn my daughter off she my wasn't, mom. She wasn't drunk when her daughter so was much. delivered at, at night. She wasn't drunk when her daughter was delivered and high. I'm going to pawn my hair, mom. Raise my kid no, for me. she was high the whole time. Oh, yeah, whatever. While she was okay. raising her right. daughter. He knows you. Yeah, I do. He knows you. I know tweakers. How come you wow. didn't lose the weight? What? Why didn't you lose the weight? 
I don't know, I didn't. Did you put it back on? I did. And I'm sure the thing that you did to your boyfriend was so sweet, and he must have taken you back because nobody else would have taken him. Yeah. Otherwise, why would he be with you in the first place? He's a mess too. You're an emotional disaster. Wow. Good, I'm glad I'm emotional. At least I show my feelings. I don't hurt everybody. I am, and that's good. It comes from the heart. It is good. And so do your lies. Yep, they sure do. I'll get Eric out of here, even if it, Dustin won't. I'll make, I'll give him my vote. Yep. And even if he does, it'll be both of our vote. Um, liar. Yeah, you told the truth, oh. no matter what in here, huh? Yes, yes I did. That's right, yes, good I Christian did. you are. It is, huh? That's, That's right. the only both thing of you have. guys. That's sad. What, that your religion so is worthless? Who's the liar now, bitch? Me. Who's the liar I'm now, the liar. bitch? That's what I know. Oh, That's is that what, what Jesus know. would say That's to me? Bitch, is that what That's he would what call me? Your mother's a bitch. My mother's a bitch. Are you hard? You don't here? even know my mother. That's Are you a hard very. Just like you don't know Excuse me. me. You don't Just know like my daughter. This know me. is a Just very, like you don't very know me. Christian thing Just to like say. You don't know oh, hold me. on. Just like you don't. Yeah, that's to keep from hitting you. Please believe it. Please believe it. Bravo, Christian. Good, baby. Bravo, Christian. Just like Jesus would do. Just like Jesus would do. WWJD. Yeah, I see you know it though. That's right. Because every I see knee it shall bow. Right every tongue shall confess I that Jesus right Christ is me. Lord. You dag on right. right. You dag on right. Uh -huh. You on your deathbed. You'll confess it. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yeah, you will. But you know what? If You'll not be before. begging for then. forgiveness for if all of your bold. Because if you know you're then. full of. If not and you're a poser then. Christian. I'm done with And you. every person you, out there sees it and knows it. You, from this point on, as in 1049, you do not exist. Fake, fraud, hypocrite, Jamaica. Oh God, make me strong. I mean, I know Dick says I'm a bad mom and stuff, or doing drugs, but I, I'm not a bad mom. I'm a good mom, and I'm sorry that I turned to drugs to help me, you know, work harder and. I depended on a drug to give me energy and stuff, and I regret it, and I really regret it. <laughs> oh, make me be strong. Make me, um, you know, do better in competition, you know, especially, like, endurance. I'm not, I'm not in shape, you know. I need to get some willpower to, like, eat right and, and work out. And I don't know. I just, I just need you to help me. I need you to. I need you to help me get this week with with Dick. You know, he's so mean. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Excuse me. This is really hard with Dick. He's so I feel really uncomfortable around him. I feel really like tensed up around him. My nerves are like I'm a mess because of him this week. Just help me, please. Okay, like honestly, this is my honest to you. I honestly, I don't know how close you are with everybody in the house. I know I, what I feel is I kind of feel like we're in the same position. Like yeah. not close to a lot of people, like on the outskirts. And I, yeah. I'm promising you, I'm giving you my word that from here on out, like I have your back in okay. this game. Yeah, I think that's a word. good idea. <laughs> because it sucks. It sucks because this week, you know, he's probably gonna go. Like, oh, it's so stupid. Like, I'm, I get choked up about it. It's not even like, oh, my dad being it's separate. Like, like last, you know, like, it's not. Really like, close with. Yeah, and yeah. like, especially like after Nick and this, it's just, yeah. it's, it's rough. <laughs> it's, it's brutal. Yeah. If my dad leaves this week, I am pretty much down to almost nobody. Right now, my best move strategically is to get along with Jen and, you know, get her over to my side. I, I know. Together. Yeah. You have my word that from here on out I have your back. And okay. I hope that you like no, I, take that for real. Because yeah. you do. And I've um, honestly like like ever since like day one, like when I first saw you, I was like, okay, like that'll be perfect. And then that we didn't click, I was like upset about it. You know, I was like, okay, fine. Like, but I think honestly, like it almost is better that way because otherwise we'd end up not both being here right now. Yeah. 
I never had anything like against Danielle other than her dad. I think that Danielle and I are um, really good at this game in different ways. So I think that would be really good team. It's time to rock and roll! Yeah! Brother Benefit Concert. We have two groups on the bill tonight, and as tour manager, I need to divide you up into two bands, the Big Brother Blues and the Red House Rockers. So come get your colors on. Four and four. Oh. Can I please have a blue one? Could I please have a blue one? Zach was very adamant about being on the blue team, so then I grabbed the red bandanas, and then Dick ripped them out of my hands, and I thought, Okay. He was acting like a kid, and I decided to just, I'll stay on his team with Jen and Danielle. So get into the dressing room and put on your rock star best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that awesome. Are you going to wear that? I'll wear that otherwise. These are actually cute pants. I know. Well, one of my pairs. Yeah. Oh, my. Dick, did you even put anything on? Not really. Uh-oh, there's microphones up there, guys. When we walked outside, there was 200 guitars just sitting around the backyard and two stages. Honestly, I didn't know what was going on. Welcome to the Big Brother Memorial Coliseum. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> this is a benefit concert, but it will only benefit one of our lucky bands. Hidden inside each one of these guitars is one of two things, a dollar sign or a slop sign. You will smash these guitars like the rock stars you are and hang the sign you find on your band's board. The first team to get to 20 dollar signs is a rock and roll legend and they will eat like the pampered egomaniacs for the week. The losing team will eat like starving musicians, which means slop for the week. I really do want to win this because it would be a great bonus to put the other team on slop. But the rock and roll lifestyle is unpredictable. Inside one of these guitars, you may even find a one week slop pass. If you find it, put it around your neck. Who came to rock and who came to slop? The Big Brother Blues or the Red House Rockers? For those about to slop, we salute you. Woo! Ready, set, rock on! Woo the object of the game is one by one, you run down through the yard, grab any guitar, smash it over the speaker, and you look for whatever card is inside the guitar. You had to get $20 signs to win the game. Right, there you go. Work it out, girl. There it is. On the board, on the board. I would say that Dick probably smashes a lot of things in his spare time. He's got a lot of built up frustration and a lot of anger. smoked them with the guitars. We broke more than they did, but we were getting a ridiculous amount of the slop ones. That was a blast, and I was cracking those things in one or two hits, and it was pretty sweet. I found so many dollar signs. Every single time I looked around the yard, one guitar would catch my eye, and I felt like that was God telling me there's a dollar sign in that one, there's a dollar sign in that one, there's a dollar sign in that one. Oh God, I'm not here! So that was God right there, it really, really was. It gave you an opportunity to let out and expel all of this anger and resentment and frustration. Kind of felt good. The other team kept
kept getting more and more dollar signs and we just had really bad luck with the dollar signs. What we decided to do was start actually going for the ones that were further away. When we started doing that, we got about six or seven in a row at one point. Congratulations, Dick. You won the Swap House for a week. You may use it yourself or give it to someone else. What would you like to do? My dad wanted to use the Slot Pass on me, but I told him to use it on Jen. She's been on Slop for a while now, and I'm trying to, you know, get tight with her game-wise. Congratulations, Congratulations Jen. Jen. He gave it to me. Ha <laughs> ha. I got the slot pass. I loved uh, him trying to make himself feel all big by giving her the slot pass. I think that it was a well-timed attempt at trying to gain favor. Well, it really doesn't matter. He has six more days left to eat slop or eat regular food. So who really cares? He's going home on Thursday. Good job! Good job. into this bunny suit. I hope they let me keep this thing. I'm taking it. Okay. Being in the bunny suit definitely gives me a little bit more freedom to be a little more loose with the group. Totally digging it. It doesn't feel like a punishment whatsoever. Jessica definitely got a kick out of that. I think I may have scored some potential points, you know, for a possible date down the road now that I've totally wooed her with my bunny antics. There's nothing like seeing a six foot five grown man in a bunny suit, um, especially when he's enjoying it. <laughs> I do prefer bunny Zach to regular Zach. You got some good moves. I know, I know. I'm really getting in tuned with my inner bunny, if you will. Bunny on a treadmill! It's very weird that a 30-year-old man is bouncing around in a bunny suit. He's just so sad. <laughs> he has nobody. He is so sad. Zach, I'm sorry. I think that you look really good in the bunny costume. He does. He does. I had to admit. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, Zach kind of looks cute right now, but he's so, oh, I can't. I cannot. So no. The answer is no. He does not turn me on in that bunny outfit. I don't know, Zach, there's something about a six foot five man in a bunny suit. All right, let's see what we got. Which house guests do you want Eric to get nominated? Let's see. Dustin. Oh, boy. What can I say? It's just about the last name I expected to see in there. Now I'm supposed to go up there and try and sell out one of the only people who actually went to bat for me? That's not to say that I'm not gonna try. It's what the American people want, so it's what they're gonna get. But, you know, if you gave me a directive that was in line with my strategic thinking, then it would be much easier to accomplish. I hope he cries himself to sleep for the next six days and then walks his ass out the door. 
Go back to being a bartender for the rest of your life, white trash hick. Oh, it feels good to get fired up though. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Jimmy. I would tell Jessica, hook me up mm -hmm. and have it be a 5-1 vote. Mm -hmm. And watch that bitch cry about mm -hmm. it later. Definitely. Put me up, Jessica. Put me up next to hey, him. What's the worst thing that, yeah. Because I'm the liar, I'm the scumbag, and we'll mm -hmm. see who gets voted out mm -hmm. at that point. Nominations are tomorrow. Do you have any uh, advice? Dustin mentioned in the hot tub that he would take some smug satisfaction to be sitting there next to Dick and I'm gonna throw that out there. We'll see what happens. I know it's risky, but there is something to it. Dustin like had a, a went off in the hot tub or whatever and he was like, put me up against Dick. I don't care because it'll be a bigger slap in his face when he goes home or whatever. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, it would be a big you to him. I want to fill you in on what Dustin told me about everything that transpired with him, Amber, Dick, and Danielle this week. As far as I was told, they had, you know, deals to send me out at one point, so. Really? Yeah. Kale said, Dustin's bad mouth everyone, and he has deals with everyone, and he made some sort of thing with Zach also, or whatever. I gotta say, I believe it's true. Zach, Kale, Jen, and Dustin himself told me that he was lying this week, and it's That's funny. really bad. Yeah. I've held in a lot in the last week and I want to bury a couple of people. <laughs> we should watch out for Dustin because he is very smart. He is very well spoken and he is kind of sketchy and we should keep our eyes open for him. All right. Farewell. Night. Good night. You rock my world. as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I'm not nervous going into nominations. If people in this house are smart at all, they will put me and my dad up. You know, it is what it is and that's fine, so I'm ready for it. Best case scenario, either me or Danielle goes up. Worst case scenario, we both go up. I will make those girls cry every single day till they hate me a thousand times more than they hate me right now. And I'm gonna make sure that I go and Danielle stays. I have spent the first five weeks in the background by winning HOH. This week I felt it was the right time to step up and make a move. If I had the opportunity, I would have the HOH power every week. I can't wait to hear what Jessica has to say. This is a perfect opportunity for Jess to really show the house what she's capable of doing. The characteristics that I'm looking at are people that you may only get one opportunity to get them out and you seize the day and take it. ceremony. I said last week that I needed to make a decision and go with it. Followed my heart and I did it. And with that, I'm sticking with the decision I made last week. Jamika, you're safe. Thank you, Jess. You are safe. You've, it's been a while. <laughs> Eric, you are safe. Thank you, Jess. Amber, you are safe. Thank you.
life. Dustin. nominated you, Dick, and you, Danielle, for eviction this week. Last week, you guys tried to pull off getting Eric out. I'm close with Eric. This is basically me coming back at you. I'm giving you the opportunity to compete for power of veto and save yourself if you really want to be here. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. This meeting is adjourned. rough week. I'm gonna be in here with a whole bunch of people who I absolutely can't stand. I need to win the power of veto. Period. End of story. But I'm not actually going for Dick to get out of the house. I am actually gunning for Danielle to get out of the house. I'm really putting her up because strategically Danielle is a much better player. Hey America, I know you guys wanted Dustin out. Didn't happen this time, but I most certainly planted the seeds. If the veto's used, I'm gonna keep going after him, and I definitely have him on my radar. This house has no idea what's about to happen. Will I give these people holy hell and make them absolutely miserable until I leave? <laughs> you bet your ass. Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save Danielle or Dick from eviction? And will Eric complete his next task as America's player? Find out Tuesday at 9, 8 central on Big Brother 8.